Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maureen Collier. I'm an interior designer and lifestyle expert. And today I'm going to talk to you about the number one decorating item I use every Christmas without fail. Um, so before I get into that, um, I hope you like the video coming up and that you'll subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, push the not notification little bell uh, that would be great and I'd be really grateful so just to give you a brief synopsis of what I do on this channel I talk about everything I like to do or to see or places I visit or how I style things and hopefully um, it'll inspire you to um, adapt some of the ideas and make them your own so the number one thing i use at christmas without fail every year to decorate my house is light be it candle light tea lights fairy lights battery operated lights lights they are very effective they're very simple and um i love them um now the key thing for me is not to overdo it to have little like pockets of light um scattered around the house so that it invokes that cozy kind of grotto uh feel um i think for me that if i lit up everywhere and i gave it that black blue black pool illuminations look i don't think it would have the same effect so that's just for me because I just think it's a bit more elegant when you have the little uh, highlights around your house. Now I use battery operated lights, battery operated candles, real candles, tea lights, fairy lights, battery operated fairy lights, plug in lights. And um, they all come in shapes and sizes and I find they're really useful. So, um, for instance, the one thing I look out for with uh, battery operated candles is this sort of movable uh, wick because it gives a more um, real uh, a feel to it. And then I tend to put um, like battery operated tea lights in vases like this where you have a cutout in the hole. So you're not directly looking and the light um, gives patterns on the wall or the surrounding ceiling. And also it kind of tricks the eye into thinking that it's actually a real tea light and not a battery operated light. And these are really good for if you have young kids or pets, then you can place them on a coffee table or a low level space as opposed to real candles which are a bit more dangerous with pets and kids around. And then the other tip I would tell you is that to use these inners tubes, particularly use strong ones, and you can wind your lights around every year. And then if like me, you go the next step, you can label them so that you can see for next year where you to use them. So it saves time and um, effort. So, um, and then styling up your um, battery operated candles, something simple like this is just very elegant and sophisticated and again would look nice on its own or if you had a row of them. You can use real foliage, um, this one is um, artificial and then this sits on a, a little candle holder that I think I got from the white company. So. You know it it's lovely so um that's the battery operated ones and then when it comes to uh real candles i think you can't go wrong with pillar candles and i tend to buy these when they're on sale so um that makes a bit more sense you could have these in different style sizes just simply styled on a sideboard in with uh in the center of a of a wreath um but also look to other shapes and sizes when it comes to ring candles like 
this one is I think it's lovely it reminds me of um, lighting those uh, candles you find in churches in front of uh, statues at home and when you travel and then if you you could again wrap a piece of ribbon around here that coordinates with your scheme um, or twine or just simply get a bit of florist wire wrap it around and then trail some ivy that would look uh, really nice and then the other thing to remember with real candlelight um, is this marrow effect or antique um, uh, looking glass this and candlelight are a match made in heaven and they look wonderful together and then if you um, intertwine those little wired pinhead battery operated lights then you'll have uh, a really nice mantle uh, display and it doesn't uh, take much you know effort or expense and it's just really nice and then the other thing I would say to you is for instance with this candle um, it kind of fell when I was coming to the studio but the the tip to get it back up straight and not wonky is just melt uh, a little bit of the wax and then press down on it and bob your uncle you're good to go and then uh, when it comes to tea lights I use them in a variety of containers so they can be tall it can be clear glass and then if your pattern or your theme for your Christmas decorations primarily is red green and gold then that you see the different heights look really really nice together again on a console table in the middle of your dining table not too much because you know you people are going to be reaching across and you want to talk to people but again it's just makes a bit of interest that makes it really nice and then the other trick i use with tea lights is i get these any clear uh, glass um, vessel this is an old um, aldi one that i wash up I just think they're great because they come in a variety of uses and you can buy snow uh, like this put it in here put your tea light there or if you don't want to buy the snow and um, you still want the same effect then uh, rock salt or dishwasher salt works equally as well and I often use that as well so you could have a row of these on your dinner table nestled in among your garland and it's very simple it's very easy to put together and more importantly it's very easy uh, to take apart which I'm all about as well so um, and in saying that I like things that I can just put there uh, style up and then just when Christmas is over pack it away really quickly and because then you're more likely to do it uh, every year and something like this is really effective you could have it all year round or you could have it styled up again with foliage uh, or your artificial garland or your real garland or even coloured beads it would just look really nice on sorry look really nice on um, uh, your table your sideboard your console table your island um, if you're having a party and then um the last few tips i will tell you about is that i like uh these tea lights can you see they look really nice when you have clear glass uh holders and also the depth is uh that bit extra deep so they last longer so i love those and when i see them i tend to buy them in bulk and then if you use um, one of these, um, obviously they're not great for the environment when you throw them away. So I have found this, which is brilliant because um, you can charge it up with a USB cord and then it has a constant flicker which, which lights the candle. So it's rechargeable, so it's better for the environment and uh, I think um, these are available, you know, anywhere, but um, just think about it and uh, I love it. So that's my number one decorating tip I use every year is light. Candles, tea lights, fairy lights, 
real or fake um there's a place for all of them so um that's it for now i uh, hope you liked it and you found it useful let me know in the comments because i love seeing people who comment and again if you found it inspiring and you'd like to hear more then please subscribe hit the notification button and once again thank you for watching i'm truly grateful bye for now